This is the Copper Chef Perfect Egg Maker. It's a device that can make 14 hard boiled eggs at once, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's review. Quick overview here. You have a heating element, you add water to that, and then you put on one of your egg trays. If you want to make a small omelet, you can put that there. Poached eggs, that there. Otherwise, you can put seven eggs in here, or you can do the double decker route. And add seven more on top, and top it off like that. This is the power button that goes on, but it goes off by itself, so all you have to do is add water, hit the button, and it's ready to go. So with that in mind, let's get started and see how it works. All right, we're gonna start with the opening act here, which is a poached egg. What's a little bit strange about it is you're supposed to use this tray for your poaching your eggs. And the instructions, it shows you putting the tray on top of this. So I was expecting the poaching tray to be about the same size, but it's actually smaller, just kind of rests on there. On the box, it shows something a little bit different, but in a screenshot of the original commercial, which I'll show right here, it does show it resting on the tray like that. So I'm just gonna go with what they show in the instructions. Poaching tray on top of the egg tray and see how it goes. All right, I've just sprayed it with cooking spray to make sure it doesn't stick, as the instructions say. I have water up to the poaching and omelet line. It goes in the heating element right here. Here's the tray that goes in there first. And this just rests on top, which seems a little bit awkward, but that's what we're doing. Okay, it just turned off by itself, so let's see what we got here. Oh, it just hissed at me. What do you guys think? Oh, it's kind of warm, kind of warm. It's still kind of sizzling, so I'm a little bit leery about touching it. It's definitely an unusually shaped poached egg. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can, I'll use this plastic spoon here. It's not sliding exactly right out, but there we go, there we go. All right, there's one. And, oh, I broke it. It was stuck to the bottom. Oh man, I thought I, was, I, thought I had it. There's what we got. Let me, that's a weird shape, don't you guys think? I mean, it's kind of, I don't know what, what shape is that? It looks like an eyeball or something. Like an alien, like an a evil alien eyeball. Blah, 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 blah. There's what we got with that. I'm gonna take a bite of one of these and see how it tastes. It's not really rocket science, but it tastes pretty good, so I think it, worked for the poached egg. Hmm. All right, next up we're gonna go for the 14 hard boiled eggs using both of these, but one thing I noticed on the poached egg is, look at this. There must have been some sort of like egg mist floating around inside of there that settled on the bottom because now I have to clean this out. I wasn't really expecting that. Not a huge deal, but not something that I really anticipated. So let me cl clean out the egg mist and start the next round. All right, look at the instructions for 14 eggs. We need 75 milliliters of water. Step two, you're supposed to pierce the egg bottoms with this pin located on the bottom of the measuring cup. Pretty clear about where you're supposed to pierce. You're supposed to pierce it on, pierce it on the wide part, which I'll do that, and then place it hold up. There we go, all right. Got my hole there, put it in. All right, sweet. So let's just rinse and repeat this about 13 more times. All right, cue the fast motion. Fast motion over. All right, got the first seven done. Now we're gonna go to the upper deck. That's right. We're making 14 of these babies right here. Let's keep going. 
Okay, we've got 14 beautiful eggs in here, all punctured with the holes facing up. I got the water in the bottom. I put the cherry on top. Isn't that beautiful? Who needs to make hard-boiled eggs? You have a display look like that. You should just display that in your kitchen just like that. All right, anyways, plug it in. That cord is pretty short, by the way. They don't want you to knock that over. Power button pressed. All right, according to the instructions, it should take about 15 minutes to do 14 of them. They don't recommend doing more than seven eggs for medium or soft, but they do recommend for hard. I'm kind of curious if the ones on top come out the same as the ones on bottom, since you would think these are closer to the heating element than those, but who knows? I'll be very curious. It takes a minute for after you push the button for anything to really start happening. It's been about 15 minutes, the light just shut off. Now, one thing I was gonna point out is that it doesn't ding a bell or a ring or anything, it just turns off. So if you're not watching it, it could shut off and you don't realize it. Now they recommend throwing them some ice water for best results, so that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna use my clever tongs and get them out of here. Okay, I'm gonna set this one aside and put that in last so I can keep track of it. I see a little egg bit right there. There's an egg bit. Okay, this is gonna be the one I keep track from the bottom, right there. And this is gonna be the one I keep track from the top. All right, this one is from the top. This one's from the bottom, so I'm gonna to know to check those first. And let this, let these soak in this ice water for five minutes and then try those two out. I noticed kind of a burnt smell, so I took the bottom tray off and look at this. What's that? That looks like some sort of burnt egg mist. We're back to the egg mist, but this one's, I don't think it'd be egg mist, would it? I don't know. But there's this burnt stuff in the bottom, which I'm gonna to have to clean out. Oh, very surprising and disappointing. I'm, I didn't think this part would ever have to really be cleaned that much, but now I'm gonna have to clean it. All right, there's, their instructions say to peel it under cold running water. It's been sitting in ice water for six minutes. This is the one from the top. I mean, it seems like kind of a waste of water. Maybe I don't need it that strong. All right, well, that was actually very easy to peel. I gotta give him credit for that. This one came from the bottom rack. Well, that was pretty easy to pee. Hey, I'm giving him credit, man. This one came out pretty good, too. Let's cut these open and see if there's any difference inside. This was cooked on the top rack. This was the bottom rack. Let's cut these two open. I mean, I think they came out pretty nice. They peeled nicely. They came out nicely. I think it's a success. I'm happy with it. Visually, they definitely came out perfect, so let's see how they taste. I know not everybody likes the taste test, but some people like them. Hmm. It's not overcooked or undercooked, and there's no hunks taken out from trying to peel it, so I think it actually did come out perfect. Hey, Bren, come in here a second. All right. All right, you ready to eat some more eggs? <laughs> oh, come no. on, more eggs. Go in the fridge. I just made some. Go in the fridge. Why? I want to eat more there's eggs. There's some right down there. Hey, grab, grab an egg. I want, I want a third party opinion on how this goes. All right, so. Oh, I don't want to eat this. You're going to have to eat it. All right, so I want to see how well it peels because this is the perfect egg maker and that's one of the selling points. I want, I want, your, I want your opinion as it's, as it's peeling. All right, well, I'm probably not the best one to uh, test on this because I suck at peeling eggs, but. I'm off to somewhat better start. Well, just to point out, when I peel eggs... There we go. Oh, look at that. Big hunk of it. Look at that. Boom. Sweet. Oh. How about one more? Oh. Oh. oh yeah. So the fact that they're coming out smooth is actually pretty impressive for the perfect egg maker. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to gotta stop right here. Because I literally had poached eggs for breakfast and hard-boiled eggs for lunch, which I didn't really feel like eggs to begin with. So I'm kind of at a stopping point right now. 
But here are my thoughts so far on this product. I'm actually surprised that it works as well as it does, to be honest, because I was thinking with the two layers that the top one might not be as done as the bottom. That wasn't the case. The ones I tried from the top and the bottom seem to be equally well done. I also like the fact that it's sit it and forget it. You turn it on, the water does its thing, and when it's done, it shuts off by itself. It's pretty easy to use. You don't have to sit there and watch it and wait for things. There's two minor complaints I have, which I don't think are really deal breakers, but there are two minor complaints. The first complaint is that the heating element has to be clean, which I'm completely surprised about. But whatever is happening in there, all that steam is getting egg mist on it, and it settles in the bottom, you gotta clean that up. When I did the 14 eggs, it was actually burnt on the bottom, and there was actually a burning smell, so that was a little bit surprising. The other thing I wish that they had done is included a ding or an alarm or some sort of sound when it's done because right now it just shuts off and if you're not watching you don't really know. Those two minor complaints aside, so far it's working surprisingly well. I have more tests to do. I was thinking when I got done I was going to crack it open. The top layer would be a bunch of runny half cooked eggs but they weren't. They were perfect. Easy to shell as well. Let me finish my remaining tests and see if they hold up as well. So not everybody wants to get, make 14 eggs at once. What if you want to wake up and have one or two eggs? Let's see how that works for the perfect egg maker. All right, we got two eggs. I'm gonna soft boil these. Water measured out. Oops. All right, it's 9.36 a.m. Let's see how long this takes to do two soft boiled eggs. The instructions went wrong. It's been exactly six minutes and that just shut off with no notification, but it shut off. Ice water for five minutes, then we crack them open. I'm not doing the running water thing like they suggest because to me that's a waste of water. I'm just gonna try it like I'd normally do it. Uh-oh, I have a bad feeling about this. The shell is stuck. I'm not a huge fan of soft boiled eggs, just so you know. But I think that is a soft boiled egg. I think that would certainly qualify. Six minutes in the perfect egg maker and then five minutes in the ice. I think it came out about what I expected. All right, this has absolutely nothing to do with the Copper Chef perfect egg maker, but I want to have Bailey in my video for a second. I wanted to point out that there is one product that Bailey gets really excited when she sees, and it's the Grabbit. There's hair all over it. But when Bailey sees me get the Grabbit, she knows I'm going to be throwing the ball to her, because this is what I use for. There you go, girl. I can even pet her with it. That's how the hair got in there. I, I sometimes pet her with it. Look at that. She's getting hair on the back. Now, besides a couple of complaints I had, which is the heating element needs to be cleaned, and the, there's no notification when it turns off, and also it's really just a single-use product, other than that, it really does work as advertised. Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I'm not usually one to be enthusiastic about a product. I'm not really enthusiastic about it, but it does seem to work as they claim, which is actually something that not all products do. Now, is it better than the traditional method of making hard-boiled eggs? Not necessarily, but some people seem to struggle with the traditional way, and if you're one of those people, this actually might be a good product for you. In fact, it also makes a pretty big number of eggs, 14, in a pretty small space. The Copper Chef Perfect Egg Maker was marketed back in 2017. Uh, the website they advertise is no longer there, and I can't even find the product on the Copper Chef website, but it is sold in stores. I found it in Walmart for about 20 bucks. Have you used the Copper Chef Perfect Egg Maker or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures and videos as I go, and please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with frequent reviews.